New surprising updates from Mercedes and the W14. This is another episode from your favorite Formula One review channel. In today's episode, we will talk about the new changes in the team and possible upgrades ahead of the race weekend. But before we continue, I invite you to leave a like on this video. Red Bull's team boss, Christian Horner, made a bold statement at the end of the Spanish Grand Prix, asserting that the newly upgraded W14 is still much slower than the RB19, with Lewis Hamilton in second finishing 23 seconds behind race winner Max Verstappen. These are some improvements the team is undergoing ahead of the Canadian Grand Prix. Firstly, the long debate about Hamilton extending his contract with Mercedes has now had a clear way forward with Toto Wolff confirming a contract signing before the race weekend begins in Montreal. Wolf is optimistic about a new deal being concluded in just a matter of days. Despite Wolf and the team trying to play down their expectations for Montreal, they still have one more upgrade in the bag, which can potentially be deployed to the W14. This will be a new rear wing for the newly upgraded W14. With a number of long straights, 14 turns, and three DRS zones at the Circuit Gilles de la Neuve, a lower downforce rear wing option will greatly increase the DRS performance of the W14, which is greatly needed if they are to take on the Bulls in this type of circuit. Mercedes will indeed face a lot of competition from Red Bull and Aston Martin as Fernando Alonso vows a podium finish at the Canadian Grand Prix. Meanwhile, Sergio Perez, who has had two bad race weekends so far, will be keen on racing to his very best so as to minimize the points gap from his teammate and championship rival Max Verstappen. Like and subscribe to the channel for more F1 content.